Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss generate and test search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a very simple solved numerical example. First, we will see what is uh, generate and test search algorithm and then we will take a simple example. The generate and test uh, search algorithm is one of the simplest of all the search techniques. Uh, it contains uh, the following steps. In the first step, we need to generate all possible solutions. Once you generate all possible solutions, we need to select one solution among the possible solutions and then uh, we need to check whether the solution is uh, acceptable. If it is acceptable, we will uh, quit the algorithm. Otherwise, uh, we will go back and uh, select the second one and then uh, we will check whether it is acceptable or not. The meaning here is, uh, first we need to select or generate all possible solutions uh, starting from uh, you can say that initial node to uh, the goal node. Uh, we need to go on selecting uh, one solution at a time. Uh, when it comes to acceptable, acceptable is nothing but uh, uh, sometimes it may happen like we want to get the shortest uh, path to reach from initial node to goal node. So in that case, we need to select uh, the path which is having the minimum cost. Uh, so that is that may be the one thing. So similarly, uh, for uh, different uh, problems, we may be having some different requirements. Based on that, we need to check whether the solution is acceptable. If it is acceptable, uh, we need to quit. Otherwise, we need to select the next solution and then we need to do the same uh, uh, cross-checking again and again here. It can be shown with a simple uh, pictorial diagram or something like this. And there are two things. One is a generator and the second one is the tester. The generator will generate all possible solutions. The tester will test whether the generated solutions are correct or incorrect uh, or you can say that acceptable or uh, uh, not acceptable. If it is acceptable, uh, it will be given as a final solution. Otherwise, uh, if it is in, uh, uh, it's not acceptable, it will be put into incorrect solutions here. Now, there are mainly two approaches to generate uh, the solutions because I said that we need to generate all possible solutions. So there are two mainly uh, we can uh, follow two approaches. The first approach is to generate all possible solutions. That's the only uh, the first approach and the second approach is to generate some random solutions and then select one among those particular random solutions. So these are the two approaches we can follow because generating all possible solutions is a very difficult task because uh, if you have some uh, thousands of uh, solutions, it's very difficult to generate those particular solutions. So what we do is uh, usually we generate random solutions. Among those uh, random solutions, we select one uh, which is acceptable. Now coming back to the uh, example, uh, in this case, I'm going to consider a traveling salesman problem uh, to understand uh, generate and test algorithm. Uh, TSP problem is uh, something like this. A salesman has a list of cities, each of which he must visit exactly once. There are direct roads between each pair of uh, cities on, uh, on the list. Find the route the salesman should follow for the shor shortest uh, possible round trip that both starts and finishes at any one of the cities. Uh, the briefly, uh, we can say something like this. The traveler uh, needs to visit uh, all the cities. If you have n number of cities, he has to visit uh, all n cities. Uh, there should be and he has to visit those particular cities exactly once. That is a very important thing. He has to visit those particular cities exactly once. And uh, uh, we need to return the shortest uh, route in this case. So that is what uh, the traveling salesman problem is all about. So in this case, uh, we have uh, four cities here, A, B, C, and D. Uh, there is a direct uh, path between every pair of cities. For uh, every uh, pair of cities, uh, the distance is also mentioned here. That is from A to B, the distance is six. Uh, six units you can say from B to D the distance is uh, two units and so on now the task here is uh, the salesman has to start at uh, one uh, city and he has to come back to the same city again uh, visiting exactly uh, all the cities exactly once so that is the main requirement and uh, finally we need to return the path which is having the minimum cost so that is the uh, final requirement here so how to approach in this case is uh, as said in uh, generate and test algorithm we need to generate all possible solutions and then uh, we need to select one solution which is uh, acceptable in this case. So when it comes to TSP problem, the acceptable uh, solution is the solution which is having the minimum cost. So that is the acceptable uh, solution you can say. 
Now coming back to the uh, approach, how can we generate all the possible solution is, uh, there are four uh, cities are there, uh, like we can start at A, uh, or we can start at B, or we can start at C, or we can start at D. So these are the four possible cities, we can start at any of these particular cities. So I will show for one city, the remaining cities uh, can be calculated with the same note. Now if I start at A, there are, pos there are three possible uh, paths are there, either I can go to A to B, or A to C, or A to D. So these are the three possible uh, paths are there. So that is what I have drawn here, that is B, C, D. I can go from A to B, A to C, or A to D. Now from B, if you look at here, uh, I can go what you can say that D and C because A is already visited in this particular path there is no point in going back to A because uh, uh, the salesman has to visit a city exactly once in this case. So from B he can go to C or he can go to D. Now from C he can go to D, from D he can go to C. So this, this is the one path and this is the second path he can follow. Similarly from C he can go to B, he can go to D, from B he can go to what we can say that D and uh, from D you can go to B. Similarly, we can do it for the D -th node and uh, and for other uh, nodes also. Now, this is how actually we can generate the possible solutions. That is, he has started at A, he went to B, from B to C and C to D. This is the one path. Similarly, we have multiple paths over here. Now, once you find all these particular paths, we need to find the cost for this particular path. For example, A to B the cost is 6 here. B to C the cost is uh, I think uh, 3 and uh, C to D the cost is uh, 4 here. So 6 plus 3 plus 4. So that is what the total uh, cost in this case. Similarly, we have to find uh, what you can say that uh, the total uh, cost in this case. Once you find this particular total cost, I think you can see here A, B, C, D the cost is uh, 19. Uh, a, B, D, C the cost is uh, 18. Similarly, we have to find the cost for each and every path. Once you find this particular, uh, the cost for each path, the path which will give you the minimum or the minimum cost, that will be the final solution here. So we have done uh, two things. We have generated all possible solutions. We found the length of those particular, uh, uh, can say that the paths, the one which is having minimum, that is the final answer in this case. So this is how uh, actually the generate and test algorithm works. It's a very simple algorithm. Uh, where what we do is we generate all possible solutions. Uh, we, we do some uh, checking uh, based on the problem definition. In this case, uh, uh, the check is like uh, we want the shortest uh, path over here. So that's the reason we need to find the length of that particular path. The one which is having the shortest, that will be the final answer in this case. I hope the concept is uh, clear with respect to generate and test algorithm. Uh, if you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.